hello hello everyone my name is Laura this is my channel Laura's Little Library and welcome to today's video which is an autumn themed reading vlog today is Thursday it is Thursday afternoon I am done with classes for today I do have classes tomorrow but it is a long weekend I do not have classes on Monday or Tuesday so I thought this would be a great weekend to do a reading vlog and because I just decorated my house for autumn it's going to be an autumnal reading vlog I will be book shopping this weekend as it is Barnes & Noble's 50% off hardcovers this weekend so I will definitely be going there and other just various fall themed activities this weekend as well as getting a head start on my autumn TBR. First off, the book I have started today so far is You Can't Spell Treason Without Tea. This is by Rebecca Thorne and it is a cozy fantasy steeped with love. If you've read uh, Travis Baldry's book, Legends and Lattes, it's a lot like that. Kind of your D&D fantasy world, but with just cozy tea and books and low stakes fantasy. So I'm starting off with this one. I am almost a third of the way through this book. And I like it a lot. It is, like I said, very similar to Travis Baldry's books of you have, but it is also queer. So you have um, one main character who she was like the head of the guard for the queen in the realm. And then the other main character, she is a mage and does like elemental magic. And they decide to both just kind of run away from their responsibilities to a certain degree and just settle down together and have a peaceful life opening up a tea bookstore which also has elements of a library in it it seems so yeah very cozy very autumnal so far um i'm loving this i would really love to finish it today i think there's a good chance i can finish this today and then for audio because i'm reading this over audio actually because I've been doing so much like decorating and cleaning today that I decided to pick this up over audio. But once I'm done with this, I would really love to pick up um, probably our book club pick, The Things in the Woods or whatever it is I just said it was. So let's get reading, shall we? I have finished Can't Spell Treason without tea and I would give this a four out of five stars. It was very cozy. I loved the vibes. However, I felt like there were a couple of things in the ending that left me pretty unsatisfied. Like I feel like they kind of just dropped a plot point. They basically said, oh, it's over there and then didn't do anything about it or with it. So I, I've it felt very incomplete. The other thing about this book is that the characters had the same um, not really argument, but the tension between the characters was the same issue that kept getting brought up without ever having any sort of resolution. And I didn't like that because it was supposed to have a resolution and then didn't. Like, I just feel like there wasn't a lot of character growth because of that. So I feel like there were a couple of things in this book that were lacking, but for the most part, the vibes were cozy. It was sweet. There were dragons. It's, it's a cozy fantasy, you know? It's very, very Legends and Lattes. It's, it's basically Legends and Lattes, but with more dragons, and the queer romance is more prevalent. It's a majority of what the book is about as well. But I loved the two of them together. Their puns were amazing. They made me so happy. So yeah, four out of five book. Four out of five stars, I would recommend this for a cozy autumnal read. And I don't really want to get into a spooky book quite yet. I want to stay in this like cozy autumnal vibe rather than go full spooky. So I've got a couple of books here that I'm going to choose between. One of them being The Honey Witch by Sydney J. Shields. 
I believe this is supposed to be another a witchy, whimsical, I don't know if it's like cozy fantasy, but it's it's very sweet and very witchy. And then the other one is The Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst. This is like very bakery, cozy feeling witchy book. So I think they're two very similar vibes in both of these books, just obviously different plot lines and stories and whatnot. So I am going to, so now I'm going to sit here and try and decide what I'm going to read next. Hello friends. So I started reading The Honey Witch by Sydney J. Shields. I'm just a couple chapters in and I am liking it a lot so far. It is definitely like a very atmospheric type book. And I can see where the plot is going to start and I really just can't wait to get more into it. I don't have too much to say but I am really excited to read this some more today. But now it is time to bake. So I will be baking some pumpkin spice snickerdoodle cookies for a family get together that we have later today. So let's get baking. morning. So I am so excited for today because I have very little that I need to do. I had a two hour online class this morning and now I can just spend the rest of the day reading. I am a little over 100 pages into The Honey Witch and I'm enjoying this a lot. I I'm a, like I said, I'm a little over 100 pages in and it's been a lot of, you know, setup and background and atmosphere and that's been really great, but I think the plot is going to get started soon, which is good because now I'm starting to need a little bit of plot, but um, I really love the writing and I love the setup of everything, so I'm really excited, but yeah, so my goal, I would love to finish this today and then start like the spell shop or something, but yeah, this is just such cozy, natural book so i i'm sitting here i'm going to read it i've got my blanket candles snacks i was drinking tea and then hot chocolate but i just was getting really really tired and not because of the book like the book wasn't making me tired i just i just was tired so i did get a pumpkin spice latte from big b so um that will be good. I normally make pumpkin spice lattes here, but my coffee machine decided to explode on me, so I got one. And then I've also got a little crackling fire on my computer, which I could put up on the TV too, but just to kind of give the cozy atmosphere. This really is kind of the perfect setup for reading for me because I have a background noise that's very atmospheric. I've got coffee to keep me awake. 
blanket. My cats were here a minute ago. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping to finish The Honey Witch um, this afternoon and then start another book. So, oh, it feels really good to have a day where I can just read. Like I have no other responsibilities. All my homework is done. I, I don't get these days very often. And so I really wanna just enjoy this as much as I can. Somebody's come to read with me. Hey, Donatella. They love this blanket, and I love it too. All right, I was right though, by the way, that this is ramping up on the plot, and we have Lottie, who is adorable in that broody way, very grumpy sunshine. Y'all, I think I got it. I think I know what the twist is. I think I know what like the book kind of comes down to, and I don't want to say it because I don't want to spoil this because I want you all to read it. But I'm on page like 160, so I'm almost halfway through. And I, I think I know. I I have a very strong hunch. Oh, I'm excited for this. I finished reading The Honey Witch by Sydney J. Shields, and I loved this. I gave this a five out of five stars. It was like it's not cozy fantasy, but it's not not cozy fantasy, you know? Like it's a little bit of a higher stakes than what you would expect from a cozy fantasy, so it's not, like, doesn't technically fit that description, but it was so atmospheric, so wonderful, just the way that they use bees and honey for the magic and the, like, the mystery itself wasn't surprising how it ended up, you know, it was pretty predictable, but again, that's not why you're reading it. You're kind of reading it for the, the romance, but number one is for the atmosphere and the vibe so if you're a mood reader like me i highly recommend this one so now i'm going to pick up the spell shop by sarah beth durst this i think is actually a cozy fantasy this is actually something with low stakes of this librarian and her plant <laughs> who the library burns down and so they go back to her family cottage back on an island and she just kind of restores the cottage and she makes a home for herself on this island um, and she sells jam I guess uh, and she's very much a homebody like a librarian so I think it's just gonna be very cozy and again very atmospheric very good for us mood readers so I'm really excited to get started on this one we are coming to the end of this autumnal reading vlog and so I'm just gonna do a quick review of the books that I read so I read Can't Spell Treason Without Tea by Rebecca Thorne this was a cozy fantasy that if you're a big fan of Travis Baldry and his two books then you're definitely going to love this the next book that I finished was The Honey Witch by Sydney J Shields and this was such an uh, autumnal aspheric witchy book about a girl who goes to her grandmother's house on an island and watches over the island and takes care of it and takes care of the people there with her magic through honey. And then the final book which I have not finished but I have started and am loving so far is The Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst. And so this is a cozy fantasy about a librarian, a shy librarian, who her library burns down and so she goes back to her family cottage 
and she fixes up the family cottage and starts a business using the spell books that she rescued from the library and sells jam. So I'm loving this book so much so far. I think if it continues on the way it is, it will be a five star book for me. I am over 50 pages in. I am on page 65 and it's just absolutely gorgeous and perfect for this time of year. So I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. Comment down below what are some of your very autumnal atmospheric recommendations. I'm always looking for more books and it's great to share with each other our recommendations. If you like this kind of bookish content, make sure you subscribe. I'm posting videos once a week and I have a lot of fun content excited. I'm very excited for the content I have planned coming up. I also have bookish social media linked down below in the description so you can follow me like on my Instagram and things like that to keep up with what I'm reading. So again, I hope you all have a wonderful end to your September and until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading. Thank you.